Welcome back to another episode of Let's Roll Out, guys. Today we are here once again in lovely Toronto, and I wanted to do something different. You see, there's been a car that has hit the spot with a lot of our viewers, and we wanted to bring it back. Today's show is gonna be a little bit different because we wanted to get this car from an owner's perspective. A lot of you have been asking questions and today we get the opportunity to speak to the owner himself. The car we're talking about today is this 2012 Hyundai Genesis. It has been very surprising the kind of response we've got from you, our viewers, and this is why we wanted to start this new aspect of our show, giving you the opportunity to meet the owner of this and answer a few of your questions that you might be curious about. So let's, without no further ado, we are gonna be introducing you to Jack. He is the owner of this car. Hi, Jack. How are you doing? Good morning, Elton. Welcome back to Let's Roll Out. Awesome to be here. This car has been simply fantastic. From the time you look at it, it had such a different appeal. It's, it's elegant, it's sporty, it's strong. And it mimics some of their luxury vehicles that we've known, like the, I thought, it looked like a Mercedes. Yeah, you know. I get that. For for you, what was one of the things that made you choose this car? Well, ultimately, I've always been a car guy since I uh, got my license. I've always dabbled with Jetta, Civics, and uh, came to a point in my life where now I have two kids. And after driving a Corvette for the first time in my life. I realized I need to have a V8. I can't go back to a four cylinder. And, and this one does have that V8, that five liter V8. This allowed me to have a Corvette engine yes. with four seats and four doors. <laughs> you couldn't want a better thing than that. And also it is so attractive, it's so attractive. The white and the contrast that you've created with this, the plastic yeah. dip grill. And I know a lot of you, the viewers out there, have wondered about this because it was different from the normal G Genesis. So what inspired this? What what made you thought of doing the plastic dip on the for your well, grill? Just exactly as you mentioned, the car is white and I needed to make some contrast. So I've actually smoked out the headlights to make them a little bit darker and put some color uh, with the yellow fog lights. But the grill needed to stand out because it didn't have any, it needed a, a, a badge from the front, a presence from the front. The silver grill just blended in and you didn't get a, 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 a size of the car. You didn't get a, a feel of the size of the width of the car. Okay. So okay. this kind of broke up the width and I think that made the biggest difference going black. Well, I can definitely yeah. say it makes a statement. When, you, yeah. when you, you look at this car in your mirrors, it looks, it makes you ask the question. It's like, damn, what is that? <laughs> Guys, it is the Genesis. It's amazing. Now the company has changed name now and this car started it all. Of course, you know, it's no longer called the Hyundai. It's called Genesis because it's the beginning. And we get to have it back. So now I saw you've done something unique with the tailpipes. Can we go around and take a look at that? <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> now, okay, there's something about this car. I, I, I have to have to ask you. I look at the back of this thing and I've never ever seen a sedan looks like this like it reminds me of the gtr this is the only vehicle that comes to mind when i look at this tailpipe like my god what's the size on this thing these are um four and a half inch tips each four and a yeah. half inch yeah. tip okay so we got a presence from the front now it has the magnaflow exhaust is that right yep yep magnaflow exhaust so when you see it in your mirror, it has that look. I mean, because it's already so low to the ground. It has some of the, the deep dish wheels that give it the perfect stance. You guys have seen that in the last show. But what we did not have before is actually these pipes. Now, what inspired this? Well, if you saw the video of, uh, in the first uh, review, they had the metal um, exhaust uh, inserts. And in order to put aftermarket exhaust tips, we needed to cut that out and I was really hesitant. I needed to find a shop. Scott's Hot Rod in Mississauga, they were phenomenal and they suggested I go with the regular four inch tips. And I've been waiting a year and a half to get my exhaust done and those four inch tips, they just weren't doing it for me. 
They look nice. Yeah. But that's exactly why I didn't like them because right. they only look nice. You wanted something more aggressive. I need something mean, right? that gave a presence. Yeah. Something that uh, it says when you look at it, you're like, okay, you know what? Let me just think about this for a second. Right. So I went with the four and a half inch. It's a double wall aluminum tips uh -huh. and hooked up to a full cap back exhaust uh, with Magnaflow mufflers. Mm -hmm. And um, they actually tried two different mufflers. And I like the sound of this muffler. Well, this and muffler sounds amazing. Yeah. Yeah. The, you can get so much sound from it. I remember when we did our first show, and if you haven't seen the first show, guys, I will put a link in the description right here so you get to see it. The drive of this thing was fantastic, and the sound was mega, mega, mega sound. But with the look of this, the, the rear end of this car now, it seems complete. It's elegant, sporty. And now it's just so aggressive. We are gonna be driving it, no doubt. Hands down, we are gonna be driving this car because I loved it when I got it the first time. So we're gonna get inside too as well. So don't worry about that. Now, one of the issues that we faced with the last car is that when we did the first show is we had some tire rub because yeah. the, they were so out. And of course, it's, the stance was great. And one of our viewers actually pointed that out. And you know, it's great to see you guys. You guys are on, on top of things. You can actually hear that, a little bit of the tire rubbing. And that was pretty good. So what have you done to address that now? Do you still have the tire rubbing on the side? Well, I've always wanted to achieve the stance of um, getting as much tire to the edges of the vehicle. Um, I've always liked the look of seeing tires right to the edge, but yeah. right to the edge of the limits. Yeah. So I had, uh, I had 20 mil spacers in the front and 25 mil spacers in the rear. The offset, I couldn't adjust the offset of the tire, that's the way the rim comes. Mm -hmm. So I went with a 15 mil spacer in the front and a 20 mil spacers in the rear. Yeah. So um, I don't drive the car on very rough roads a lot, but commuting on the highway, and I don't have any issues or concerns. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm sure when you pass people, you just love the look on their face when they <laughs> see the car. They they do a double take and they yeah. always give me a thumbs up. I get a thumbs up all the time. A lot of people do recognize the car. Right. And they stop and they want to talk about it. Nice. And uh, so, yeah, I, I, I think the conversation is really, it's pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you know what? We're not going to have you guys waiting anymore. We're going to get inside and we're going to drive this a little bit. What do you guys say? Let's do it. <laughs> Welcome to Let's Roll Out, guys. This is what we do. We, we, we enjoy cars. We, we, it's, it's about the love that I'm sure many of you share along with me. Thank you for joining us on Let's Roll Out, guys. And we have Jag right here. Hey, guys. <laughs> All right. Um, so, Jack, tell us, what have you done to this car to increase that power from 429? Tell us what you've done. So, the car comes with 429 horsepower stock with 376 pounds of torque. And I mean, for everyday driving, for fun driving, it's great. But I wanted to get a little bit more out of it, so I ended up uh, changing the plugs to a platinum, uh, to platinum race spec plugs, uh, full cap back exhaust. So I got a lot of the, ex I got rid of a lot of the exhaust restriction. And um, last time I was on the dyno, it did 448 horsepower and 460 pounds feet of torque. Oh so, my. yeah. So from 376. To 460. Oh yeah. my God! Yeah, it's been proven, documented in uh, Steedo Mustang in Milton, and uh, they said they want to have me back, but they need to see more. So I'm like, well, we'll, we'll see about that. <laughs> now with all that power, I'm sure. Well, this does go to the back wheels. Yeah. And have you ever lit these tires up just to take the traction control off and just uh, have a ball? Elton, my. my my summer budget for my rear tires is 500 bucks every summer because they only last one summer. <laughs> and that's not even trying to so, light them up. So that's, uh, it's safe to say that Jack has enjoyed this car quite a bit. 
So it, it, it is his toy, and you know what? You only have one life to live, and it's best That's you enjoy it. it. That's it. Now, this is a Hyundai, and they've been doing phenomenally well in terms of their maintenance and issues and things like that. Now, have you had any issues with this car? I bought this car in 2014, so I had it for obviously four years now, and I've only had to replace the rear camera. It started getting fuzzy on me, so I said, again, kind of from, from bad to worse. Um, that's the only replacement I had. Oh, um, this seatbelt was sticking. So Hyundai said, well, the seatbelt's not covered, but you know what? I've been going to the same dealership. They've been phenomenal. They said, you know what? We'll do it under warranty. It's not covered, but we'll do it. So the seatbelt was getting sticky. So they said, just replace it. Other than that, in the four years, I've just been putting gas and doing oil changes. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah. So this car, you have the look of a Mercedes Benz. You have the, the, the style that is different from everything out there, something you can be proud of, but then to have that great reliability, yeah. that is awesome because this is a 2012. This is a 2012. When I bought it in 2014, it, the original owner had taken out a seven year bumper to bumper warranty. So when I got it, it still had three years still left on the factory warranty. <laughs> so, and, uh, and that was that was awesome. Um, I did look at other cars. I was looking at the SRT, and I was looking at a few European cars. But then, for the price I wanted to spend, I'd have to go 2010 or 2009. Okay. So this car, it um, I did some research on it. The Tau 5 liter motor when they came out with it in 2012, it made the list for the for the 10 best engines uh, in the world uh, for 2012. That, that yeah. is that is really good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That is really good. Now I have to ask: Does Mustangs and those uh, little cars try to play with you sometimes? Like they they pull up next to you? Do they try to race you? I'm gonna tell you, Elton, my brother. He's got a 2017 Mustang GT, and to this day we haven't yet tried to race yet because <laughs> we don't know what the outcome is gonna be. <laughs> you wanna save for that bragging rights? Gonna save for that. Yeah. <laughs> well, well this, this is a 5 liter V8 and of course, and let's roll out, we want to see what the That's performance it. is like, right? So wh what we're going to do, of course, we're going to take the traction control off and let's see, load it up a little bit. <laughs> Woo! Woo -hoo! Well, it's safe to say this car pulls and it pulls and it has this sound to go with it that's just so awesome. Now, the one thing that I didn't, I wished it had, it had more of an aggressive gear change, but that's about it. So you've got a 2012 Hyundai Genesis that gives you minimal troubles. It rides nice, it sounds nice, and with this five liter V8, like you said before, you've got your Corvette mm -hmm. in with four doors. With four doors, yeah. So it yeah. cannot go wrong. Um, wow. Our R33 Skyline, uh, Corvette, Mustang GT, Porsche 911, every one of those cars have always given me a thumbs up because wow. I've always stayed fender to fender. Yeah. And they did not expect, expect that a 4,200 pound car with four doors is going to stay fender to fender. <laughs> that is amazing. <laughs> that is amazing. We're going to launch it again. <laughs> 2012 Hyundai Genesis. It's awesome. Now, guys, if you have any questions, please do put it in the comment section below. Myself and Jag will respond to you. And once again, thank you for watching. Let's roll out, guys. We are going to roll out. <laughs> Ha 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 ha!